YouTube, we back at it again with another Ariana Grande album reaction review. And if you guys see my previous two Ariana Grande videos, those things blew up. You guys are amazing. I did not know that it was going to be like that. I just kind of took a leap. You know, I just took a leap of faith by listening to a superstar, brand new music I'd never heard before. I'm new to really listening to like pop albums, female R&B albums. I was pleasantly surprised. And in the comments, there was actually like some great debates on which ones are her best. Some people said that those two were her best, but some people were saying Sweetener, Thank You Next, My Everything were even better albums. So I told you I was going to listen to every single one of her albums because on my channel, I want to listen to the albums and then be able to go into ranking mode after where I rank my 30 favorite underground Grande songs and rank her albums from my least favorite to favorite. And that's what I'm looking forward to, really. So before we begin, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're on YouTube right now. Show some love in the comments because the support has been crazy. Appreciate y'all. But if you want to be one of the first people to actually watch this video in full without the cuts, and you guys could and you guys get uh see, I'd be stuttering my ass off. Oh my god. Tap into the Patreon so you can get bonus content as well. It's only the beginning. It's your boy Jakar. Ariana Grande, Sweetener. We'll talk more throughout the album. Let's get right into it. Raindrops. An angel cried. Shit. When raindrops fell down from the sky The day you left me An angel cried Oh, she cried I love every one of her intros so far. Three for three. My God. Perfect way to start. All right, let's let's keep going. Oh, that was beautiful. That's a little bit lower. Let me turn it up. There we go. I don't like when he sings, I don't know why. We'll talk more about that after. Shorty, you can get blazed. So Pharrell is a living legend. Production wise, of course, one of the greatest ever and influence wise, one of the greatest ever. Just when he sings, there's probably one song. If you guys look it up, the song with him and Alicia Keys, I know where you are, I know what you're feeling. Really beautiful song. And of course he has a couple songs, you know, Neptunes and everything that when he sings, you're like, all right, bet, like this is Pharrell's song. He owned it, it was for his voice. But I'll be honest, there is so many songs that he's made singing wise that I wish someone else was singing it. I know that's crazy, but I just wish like even on this song for me, I don't care for this song at all. But even with that being said, if someone else was singing this song, I bet it would have sounded better alongside of her. But yeah, for me, that intro was amazing. I don't like how that intro went right into, right into this song. I'll be honest, that intro was so beautifully and perfect that I'm like, why this song is number two. But let's keep going. Oh, hold up. I don't like that. 
Hey yo, trophy wife, out you won me. Until you had to find out it's one me. Now, now you benched all your bum knee. Now I'm the bad guy, call me Chun Li. Cause you were slipping, yup, you come see. How many times did she say that? Can't just call unsee. me Chun Li. Zips tea, and it's unsweet. With respect, bud girl, when the done speak. Now the light is coming to give back everything the darkness stole. Hold on, let me press pause real quick. <laughs> It's crazy that Nicki Minaj is on this album because one of my fam supporters up here appreciates you so much for the love, but oh my God, the amount of comments of can you please listen to Nicki Minaj, the pink print, one and two, please, please, please. I'm going to get to it, you guys. I just don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm nervous because I do full album listens. I might have to do a skim through listen because I'm just nervous that there might be a lot of skips sometimes and I'm listening through it and I got a lot of albums to do. But if you're watching this video, fam, I'm gonna get on it. The first one, I can't make no promises about the pink print too. The first one will tell me if I wanna listen to the second one, you feel me? But I love Nicki Minaj, she is a legend. She's actually, in my opinion, top three woman uh, rappers of all time. Am I tripping for saying that? Who knows? You don't even need dreams, telling everybody say woke, don't sleep, I gonna break the shit down. Did sleep, I don't want to wake up. She said this, this end. Fam, do y'all really like those first three songs? I mean, not the first song, but second, third, and fourth song? I don't know, that intro was fine. And then I don't like the, I don't want to wake up. Because I feel like it's just, uh, how do I put it? It's almost, I don't want to say lazy writing. It's just like, uh, like I heard it and that's cool. Like I don't have to hear it again type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's nothing like special to me. The beat with the Nikki song, that was the main issue for me. It was the beat choice. It just the sample nonstop. All right, maybe I'm tripping or we're all just different. 
but I don't like those three songs like that. I don't know what's going on here. We need something that's gonna really hit us with some shit. God is a woman, okay. You, you love how I move you. You love how I touch you, my one. When all is said and done, you believe God is a woman. And I, Ooh. I feel it after midnight. A feeling that you can't fight, my one. It lingers when we're done. You believe God. Said it's done, you'll believe God is a woman. That's sexy and that's powerful. You believe God is a woman. Boy, if you confess, you might get blessed. Hey, that's it. I say you might get blessed. Come on now. Sing that shit. now that the fuck <laughs> that's what we want that was fire listen imagine we went into the first in that intro song after she's singing going right into god is a woman i understand all right jacar we, we don't want to delete three songs but sometimes you got to sometimes you got to say hey this shits ain't Making the album better. This right here, God is a Woman. Let me know, fam, is it a 10 out of 10 song? Write in the comments below. Is this a 10 out of 10 song? I might have died. Maybe I should have gave it. 10 out of 10. I'm saving that track. I'm adding that shit to my Ariana Grande playlist. No cap. Damn. Let's, all right, let's keep going. That was beautiful. The writing, like I said, it was sexy but powerful. Like, after it's said and done, you'll believe God is a woman. After all, just like that passion. Yo, I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all real quick. Don't wanna be disrespectful to the spiritual side by saying sexy or whatever, but the way that she put it, right? Like she said, put it on you. Pretty much, I'm imagining her on top or something, and I'm laying on my back and shit. Yo, as a man, that's love, but also in that dope type of vibe, that's what we kind of be, you know, that's those emotions we feel when we looking at a beautiful woman, just like, man. I'm blessed as fuck. This is a dope vibe. I'm here right now. This is crazy. Life is crazy, right? But then you see beauty because, you know, you see that feminine energy. You just see that and you just like, yeah, God is a woman, you know, like that's the emotions. I don't want to, I don't want to say too much because we on YouTube, we on Patreon, you feel me? But any guy that's watching right now knows that feeling and whatever, lesbian, gay, anything like that, you feel that same vibe. When you're looking at beauty, in your eyes, because beauty's in the eye of the beholder, not only just attraction, but the inside. That's why God is a woman, it's the, it's the inside. When you feel that, and you say, thank you, Lord, for blessing me today, giving me this vibe today, no cap, no cap. Do like the sweeter you are. This 
is definitely Pharrell's production. Like you can hear it go down. Which is good and bad for me. See, I, I, I like that those type of lyrics. But that's for real. Like he made her say this stuff. She he does that all the time. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Like, come on, for real. This song's not bad. I feel like I'm missing something. Am I the only one? I feel like I'm, it's just missing something. I don't know. Or maybe they're having something that I don't want. I don't know what's going on. I don't like the beat though. I like that though. Okay. Let's pick it up. Let's pick it up, Ariana. Come on. I get tired of your no shows. You get tired of my control. They keep telling me to let go, but I don't really let go. And I say so. I keep giving people blank stares. I'm so different when you're not there. It's like something out of Shakespeare. Because I'm really not here when you're not there. I like this one more than the other ones, for sure. I know what it is, fam. I know what it is. And I like this song more than the other songs. Besides God is a Woman in the first track. But I know the issue. Ariana can sing so well, but I still haven't had a song from her. Like, let's just say like Beyonce and the Halo song, right? Or let's just say a lot of the weekend songs that I love are Frank Ocean and, and uh, Pink Matter, those type of songs where they're letting it out and you can hear those vocals. Let's just say Adele songs and some even SZA songs. We could keep going down the list of individuals and artists that I believe truly that Ariana Grande can sing just as good or even better than these individuals. Like that's her voice. You can hear it in the background and she does that background stuff a lot where she's belted in the background. Fuck that shit. I'm trying to hear the real you. I'm trying to hear it now, like on the al the album. And people be like, yo, Jakar, you got to watch her music videos. You got to watch her performances of this song and then chill why do I have to do that? That's just like a Chloe and Holly that I love. Chloe and Holly, I love them. But their music videos and their performances are a thousand times better than their albums because they sing it out. You know what I'm saying? On their albums, they have that the production. I feel like Pharrell's holding her back on this album where I heard certain tracks on Positions, Eternal Sunshine. Like you guys just heard the intro track of this album. Why can't she have a full song like that? Why can't she have a song with just some piano in a, in a violin or a harp and she's singing her ass off why do we need this type of 
song that is like I feel like it's almost beneath her. You feel me? That's kind of how I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm like I feel like this is kind of beneath you. Like this is music from someone that really got to do the singing, talking, the singing, rapping type R&B vibe. You don't need to do that, Shawty. Like you're a top tier singer. One of the greatest singers of my generation, of our generation. You feel me? Why is Pharrell doing the beats this way and the, the chorus is this way? Hit it, hit it, back to you, back to you. Like, she needs a song or she needs an album. Kind of like Adele. Like, Sia. Oh, my God. I love Sia so much. And she's singing her ass off on every single song. I just want that from Ariana because I feel like Ariana's vocals, it's like I'm watching a superhero fight without using their two main powers. Watching Superman, and he's not using his beams. He's not using his strength. He's just flying around, kicking people or something. It's like, yeah, that's dope. But, bro, could you? She has that angel voice, and then she has the belting voice. And we don't get to hear either two besides little tiny cracks within the albums. It's like, that's what I'm missing. That's what I need. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> I'll probably do it here with my luck. Some days things just take way too much of my energy. I look up and the whole world spinning. You take my cares away. I can so overcomplicate People tell me to medicate Feel my blood running I swear the sky's falling I don't know how this shit's fabricated mm. Time goes by and I can't control my mind Don't know what else to try But you tell me every time Just keep They're gonna love this song or hate this song. I like that guitar. It's a good summer song though. I bet y'all really love that song though. Like that's a good summer song. That's a good song to really keep pushing if you if you're going through shit for real for real. Have I heard this song before? This definitely is playing on the radio. I heard it somewhere. I like this song. I like this part the most though. This type of singing right here.
I'm living, so we turn it up. Yeah, we turn it up. I think that's my third favorite song on the album. That's for sure. I like that song. So let's keep it going. Let's go. Baby, I just want you to be Missy Elliott, okay. I'll be honest, I'll be shocked if it changed my mind. This is usually a type of song A for me. Scream is crazy. All on my knees. God damn. I'm like, you got me so on a chase. Got me feeling so out of place. Think about you all of my days. Wish you chew on me like fresh grapes. Not trying to cuff you or crowd your space. I'm trying to find cute words just to say. Dang, you find a look at that face. At the borderline beside me, you lay. Oh, see? Slow it down a little bit. Let's see that. Let's hear. Here's some of your vocals. Touch my heart. I love that beat already. Too much importance. My love will have your fault on your knees. I tell them this too often. No better than to bark up my tree. Just for me to fall and leave. I'd rather just watch bark you a tree smoke falls and, and leave. I like leaves. Staring clear of any headaches to start. And if we're being honest, I'd rather your body than half of your heart. My tell us written comments. Ooh. They come when you let us do feelings. Look at that's it. That's not even fraud. That's Tommy Brown and Hip Hop. I love Hip Hop. That was a real beautiful song. She goes through a lot. A lot of hate, hateful comments, a lot of hateful stuff, man. That beat's crazy. Charles Anderson, Thomas, Tommy Brown, okay.
But then the heating may be done again Am I convenient? We'd be good We'd be great together Ooh, the heating may be down so it's, it's cold We gotta keep each other warm and cuddle It's impossible to ignore you Then that sparks it again, exactly What must you make me laugh so much? It's bad enough we get along so well Just say goodnight Sing that shit. Say goodnight and go. Come on. Why, this is what I mean. I love that shit so much, but why can't she do that more than just at the end? Imagine if she, that was a part of the chorus, right? And she does it a thousand times on the song. We would all be crying. We'd all be like, oh my God, her voice is an angel-like voice. But right at the end, it's beautiful. Fuck Ariana. Just give us more of it. That great... I'm not even complaining no more because this has been two for two on the song so far and this has been great, but you guys know you want it just like me. Come on now. Come on now. We're fiending <laughs> for more of that. Let me hear that one more time. Wanna say goodnight, baby say goodnight and go. Wanna say goodnight, say goodnight and go. Come on. Come on. Ariana. Pete Davidson. Were they together during this? I thought you or were this is a life. breakup? After? Look in my mind. Yeah. No better place all the time. Yeah. How they align. Universe must have my back. The front of sky into my lap. And I know you know that you must soul me and all that. I'm like, She got a lot of soulmates. Hey, some of y'all shawties out there got a whole lot of soulmates. Every guy you're with is your soulmate. The moon's aligned this way and it's in retrograde, so we gotta be together. Oh shit, oh, they align this way. I'm not happy anymore. We gotta break up. On to the next soulmate. But let me... <laughs> Look at everybody starting to shoot me. Watch your car, what the fuck you say about Ariana and Pete Davidson? Okay. We on to the last song, Get Well Soon. It's actually pretty crazy to make a song with the full title, like full name. Sign about him that he just could really sweep these shorties off their feet. Hey, congrats to him. I salute your game. No cap. Yeah.
I love that part. could work your way to the top you could feel it feel it i actually really like that some parts of that song I gotta see something real quick though what song is it god is a woman see Savannah. i know what happened okay that right there was ariana grande sweetener and i know what went wrong for me with that album uh, besides the intro song going into God is a Woman, amazing. My two favorite songs. Well, God is a Woman is a real song. The other one was 37 seconds. So God is a Woman is probably my, it, it is my favorite song in the album. And then we have No Tears Left to Cry. It was good. I like No Tears Left to Cry. Better Off, Good Night and Go. Some parts of Get Well Soon. 30% of Ariana is the fact that she never even really belted or any type of crazy great singing vocal performance on this album. Uh, it was really just her talking, singing, or doing the nice, normal singing that she does besides uh the ending of like two songs where she belted out or had the angel sound angel singing voice and when you have such a superpower like that and not to put it on your album is a letdown for me and i have to call a spade a spade but 70 percent is just the fact that i don't like these type of sounding beats and production that pharrell did the five songs that i actually enjoy are not even his production so if someone comments below it's like no well god is a woman no he's not even the producer it's not me bashing Pharrell. He's a legend. I love his music. I love a lot of the songs that he's made so much. But there's sounds of R&B that just are not for me. Just like there's sounds of hip hop, there's sounds of alternative, there's sounds of whatever else. It's just not for me. As I edit, we'll see if other ones really could be added to like a playlist for me or something. But that's my biggest thing. It wasn't entirely Ariana's fault. But you can even tell because towards the end of the album, she added in different producers. Artists do that when they're like, hold on, I need to have a different sound on the album as well. And so she did that to try to mix in the different sounds. And for me, it was just too much of the Pharrell influence on the album that I personally just don't like. And it is what it is. So for Sweetener, definitely don't like it as much as Positions or um eternal sunshine nowhere close to those two albums in my opinion and i'm looking forward to seeing if there's albums that could get up to that level or even in between this but yeah right now this is the least my least favorite are in a grande album so far let me know how y'all feel in the comments let me know your favorite songs and your insight and let me know if there's an album of ariana's that's better than sweetener it's your boy jakar and i'll talk to y'all